This is the look, so kind of like the difference between my really flat hair to this. Like, it's kind of like a big difference. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sam. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Like you guys can see on the title down there, I will be showing you how I get these waves right here. I just love it. It literally took me like 15 to 20 minutes to do my whole head and I do have a lot of hair. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe in a little bit down there. And if you want to know how I get these really easy beachy waves with my straightener, then just keep on watching. First, I am going to part my hair and I usually like my part in the middle. I'm going to bring that all the way to the back. I'm going to be just tying one together first. The one that we're not going to be using right now. And this makeup look will be coming soon. Um, I need to edit it, so it's gonna be coming in within the next few weeks. So I grabbed another rubber band, and what I'm gonna do is I start by, whatever I'm doing, curling my hair, flat ironing my hair, I'm gonna start by the back. I just grab a little bit of hair, and then just to keep this hair out of the way, I'm gonna swing you guys out a bit. So the flat iron that I'm using, it is the Infinity Pro by Conair. I have had this flat iron for like six, seven years. That's how long this has lasted me. It's such a good strainer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the hair in between the little clasps here. And what I like doing is once I close it, I turn and then I just keep turning to make that curl. So put in the hair in between, turn my flat iron and then I just keep turning and then just bringing it down a little bit and then turn and then bring it down and then turn and bring it down and that's how I get like a curl I'm gonna put down another piece of hair and what you want to do so that your hair doesn't get like stuck together and you have more voluminous hair you want to alternate the way that you do your curls so uh, away from your face and then turning to your face and then away and then facing your face so this one i'm gonna do it towards my face so turn bring it down turn bring it down turn Turn, turn, bring it down. You can definitely make them a little smaller. So here I'm gonna grab like an inch of my hair and then I'm gonna do this away from my face. So I turn, bring it down, turn, bring it down. And then I don't touch any of this hair up until the end where I'm gonna kinda like style it. Turn, bring down, turn. Bring down, turn. Turn while bringing it down. I'm gonna do it away from my face. You don't leave it the same amount as you did for the rest of your hair. This one's a little bit quicker. So now I'm going to take a little bit of this Argan oil um, oil treatment. And I'm going to put a little bit in between my hands. Like a quarter size amount. Put it in between my hands and undo those curls with my nails or my fingers. I don't use any type of like hairspray. Just because I don't like the look that it gives to like my hair. So as you guys can see, it gives you more of like beachy wave look. And alternating the way that you do your curls, so away from your face or like um, facing your face, it really helps the uh, curls not stick together. Now what I like doing, I have this like brush here. It has way more like thicker bristles than kind of like my usual like wet, uh, wet brush. So I want a little bit more volume up here. So I'm gonna just part my hair a little bit and I'm gonna tease down here. Just a little bit, just so that 
it gives a little bit of volume up there right here I'm gonna go and do this side of camera and I'll be right back so as you guys can see it looks very voluminous I just I love this look. I feel like also the um, argan oil gives a really nice like texture to the hair. Well, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and you guys learned how I do kind of like my beachy, very messy waves. I will be linking down below the strainer as well as um, the oil if I can find one. I'll link them down in the description box as well as all my social media like always. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!